and welcome to Adventures in Creation. So in this video, I thought what we'd do is focus on just a specific technique. And I'm going to do that in the next few videos. That way, if you want to incorporate that technique into your model, you can just go look up the video for that technique. For this one, we're going to focus in on lofts and pipes. So we're going to sweep a uh, sketch along a path or another profile. So we're going to just do those two because they're very similar to each other and they're ones that you are going to want in the more complicated models. So let me go ahead and we'll get started. The first thing we're going to do is start a new file and then we're going to create a new part and we're going to create a new body and then we're going to create a sketch and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch on the XY plane. And I'm just going to create a centered rectangle. I'm not worried about the size of that rectangle at the moment. I'm just going to make it any size that it comes out. And I'm just going to close that. Now what we need is another sketch. So I'm going to create a second sketch. I'm going to create it on the XY plane. And for this one, I'm going to create hexagon we'll do it that way around and we'll close that and now you can see that those two sketches are on the same plane well we want something that goes from here and comes up to here in a loft so we need to move this sketch so the sketch one i'm going to move its attachment i'm going to move it in the z axis i'm just going to move it up to wherever I want it to be. In this case, I want to make that 30. And now I have two sketches, one above the other. Now I'm going to select both those sketches. And I'm going to select loft. And there you have it. That's a simple way to create a loft. And what it does, it, it approximates the best way to go from a square on the bottom to the hexagon on the top and it creates that model shape for me. So you can see it creates quite a complex shape and it's that simple. So if you wanted to do any shape, that's how you would do it. Now, if you wanted a hole that ran through the middle, for instance, I'll show you that just quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the first sketch. I'm going to pop a hole in here. And I'm going to look, I'm going to make that 20 millimeters in diameter. Close that. And then I'm going to go to this sketch and I'm going to make a 20 millimeter diameter in that one, roughly about the same. And so you can see we now have a loft with a hole all the way through the middle. So that's the simple loft. Now we're going to move on. I'm going to actually delete this body because we don't need it anymore. I'm going to delete this one and we'll go ahead. And we'll do a pipe here. So let's add a new body. And the additive pipe, we're going to create a sketch on the XY plane. And for this one, I'm going to use a hexagon again. We'll get to that size. That's cool. Close that. Now for this one, I need to have a profile to run around. So I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to do it on the plane that I want the profile to run around. So I'm going to do it on that plane. And the easiest way to do this is to make it so that the center of your profile that you're going to run around or the, the center of the, the pipe that you're going to run around or the center line that you're going to run around you want to make sure that is in the center. And if I just put on that, you'll see it's in the center of that. It just makes things more predictable. And so you want to make sure that you have it in the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up and I'm going to hit that M just to give me a radius around here. And I'm going to intentionally, I'm going to just keep that radius to make sure that's 90 degrees or less. Then I'm just going to put the line out here. I'm going to hit the M again, 90 degrees or less, and drop down to here. 
And then I'm just going to go back in here and make these lines vertical and horizontal. Now, of course, I can dimension all this however I want that to go around there. And so now I have my profile that I want to run round. So I'm going to take that hexagon and I'm going to push it around this shape here. So to do that, I can select my sketch for this one. So I'm selecting that hexagon shape, hit my pipe, and then it's, so it's already picked sketch as my object. Then I'm going to select my path to sweep along. I'm going to select an object and I'm going to pick that sketch. And I'm going to say, okay. And now you can see what it's done is it's taken that hexagon and it swept it along that line. And of course we can do the same thing. If we wanted to make a hole in there, we could do that. We'd sweep it along with a hole in it. Or if you want to change this outside shape, we can do that. Now, one thing you can do with an additive pipe. One thing you can do with an additive pipe is you can change the section. So this is a constant section, but I can have a multi-section. So I can change the section halfway through or wherever I want to do it. And that will allow me to, to change the shape. So to do that, I'm going to just cancel out here. And I'm just going to delete my additive pipe at the moment. And turn my sketches on. And now what I want to do is I want to do a shape that sits in here. So I'm going to do that by creating a sketch, picking the correct plane, which is the XZ plane. And then I'm going to make my shape. It's going to sit right on here because that's where I want to transition. And I'm going to go from a hexagon. I'm going to go to a square. I'm going to do a centered rectangle for that. And remember, if you want to put your view back in where you're drawing, you can do it that way. I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to approximate to there. And I'm going to make my square there. Then I'm going to close that. And then I'm just going to look from the side and see what we have here. So I can see my square is a little smaller than I'd like it, but I want to move it over here. So let's do that. We're going to again change the attachment and we're just going to move it that way. And it's always the Z direction if you're looking flat onto your sketch. So pop that. I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger because if I make it too small, I might have a little bit of a problem. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select that sketch and we're going to say a pipe. And this time we're going to say it's a multi-section. I'm going to add a section. So I'm going to select my last sketch, which is that square. And then I've got to select my path to sweep it along. So I'm going to sketch, select sketch one and say, OK. And now you can see that what happened is my hexagon changed into my square. And then it continues to morph as it goes along. And the outcome is not as predictable as if I'm running just a single shape along there. So I might want to, in that case, I might want to edit my square, make it a little bit different, but it just shows you, you can have multiple transitions along the way through that pipe. Simply that's a, an additive pipe. You can do the same thing with a subtractive loft. That means it will remove that loft rather than add it. And you can do the same thing with a subtractive pipe. So you can remove the pipe rather than add it. So if you have any questions or you have any comments, feel free to leave those below. If there's anything else you'd like to see, or if you'd like to see other ways of doing things, feel free to let me know that. I'll be more than happy to make an additional video. If you don't have anything on this one, the next one's going to be on screw threads and simple ways to make screw threads. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll see these short instructionals. And then uh, once I release them, you'll get notification. Feel free to join our Patreon. Very active on the Patreon. These usually come out early on the Patreon. And you also get some input into what we're going to be doing next. So 
As always, thanks for your support. I look forward to making the next video.